an end to a torturing and suspicion for parents as Ghana prepares to receive the human papilloma virus vaccine from the Alliance for Vaccines and Immunizations Gavi in the April window. The HPV vaccine was first introduced in Ghana in 2013 with support from Gavi for a pilot campaign program in the old 13 districts of the northern and central regions. Given the alarming rate of cervical cancer in the absence of a national screening program, the human papilloma virus vaccine emerges as a pivotal tool to alleviate the burden of HPV infection and cervical cancer among Ghanaian women. Although the evidence points to the safety and efficacy of the vaccine, routine HPV vaccination of girls sparks debates on religious, political, socio-economic and ethical fronts. For this plan, because we've already done a pilot, the pilot was to learn lessons. It will be nationwide. Our focus usually is on children before they start their sexual debut, both uh, boys and girls. We focus on the window of hope, where there's the lowest probability that they've been exposed. So come end of the year, we should have started. The expanded program on immunization manager at the Ghana Health Service emphasizes the necessity of a two-dose series for each child. Whilst we were doing the pilot initially, as I said, we had to give three doses. Then it came to two. Now we are talking of one. But the one dose is also premised on the fact that we, do, we need to have a, a well-established screening. We are likely to two, do two doses. That is the best card put forward. There is a high anticipation among various stakeholders, including the National AIDS Control Program. If you take all the estimated population of people living in China, about seven percent are children, and if you take for females, it's sixty-six percent. So HIV has a gender phase, has. and so if you don't, if you leave them out, you are, you are not going to achieve epidemic control. For those living with HIV. The prospects of obtaining the vaccine for their children without cost brings a sense of relief, echoing the sentiments of countless other parents. The HPV vaccines are available in pharmacies across the country, costing not less than $200 per dose. But how many parents can afford this amount? Sarah Apenko, TV3 News, Accra.